July 15, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and six months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 507 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. No major changes in the last 24 hours. Ukraine is reporting repulsing 28 ground attacks in Kupiansk, Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdiivka, and Marienka. Russian shelling continues to be significantly lower than last year at this time. Tupolev bombers are currently either in flight to or have recently launched calibre or other missiles, targets unknown. Dnieper line. The Kremlin fired at 70 positions in Hesson, using only 361 shells of various calibres, including 10 aimed at Hesson. If this scarcity is continuing shell hunger, a lack of weapons or Russian stock planning is currently unknown. Zaporizhia front. Ukraine outpaced Kremlin artillery in the last 24 hours if reports are correct. Combat patrols by both sides resulted in at least 16 firefights on the ground. Kremlin mouthpieces continue to claim that Russians are attempting to ashwalt into Heliopol surroundings. Russian shelling of Ukrainian rear lines in that city and surroundings is of note. East Front, Donetsk. Marienka and Avdiivka continue to see attempted incursions by Russian forces of various kinds, but all attacks were repulsed. Heavier shelling from Russian guns in this area. The Kremlin shelled far behind the Ukrainian lines far north of Vudlaha, west of Novomykolivka, where the front bends from running east-west line to north-south line, generally. Bakhmut area. Russian guns shelled multiple locations 10 kilometers behind Ukrainian advances at the villages of Andreevka and Klishivka in attempts to disrupt Ukrainian supply and support for Ukraine's recent gains. The Kremlin sent supporting troops to take the place of the depleted around the village of Klishivka. The 4th Motorized Rifle Brigade and the 80th Guards Tank Red Banner Regiment were pulled back from previous entrenchment and the Chechnyan Akhmat Infantry were sent to stop gap or counterattack. The Kremlin also sent their 13th Squad Bars to take positions in Bakhmut Central. Bars, as we understand it, are a unit usually comprised of older soldiers who were either hoping to do weekend work or were veterans of other wars but didn't want to sign with a private military. Oskol Border Front The Kremlin made attacks in Torsk and Kupiansk. According to Kremlin mouthpieces the Russians have made advances in the fields of the Torsk vicinity in the last three days. This seems possible, as the village is in a relatively sharp valley and the Russians likely have better immediate supply for support weapons. Northern border. Wagner forces that were previously east of Ukraine appear to have completed their travels and are in Belarus. Putin shells innocents to make a dead zone. Black Sea. As of the last report 12 hours ago, the Kremlin is floating 16 ships, including two missile carriers, equaling a total of 12 caliber missiles in a volley. Ukraine attacked Sevastopol with at least eight drones of a variety of types, including air and surface, which Russia claims to have defeated. No sources in this area have reported any damage, however it's very early morning. Ukraine World Related Wagner claims 30,000 troops already on the ground in Belarus, but this is likely exaggeration for recruitment. Belarus is using Wagner combat vets to train what appear to be a very questionably conditioned Belarusian military, but this too might be an exaggeration. China and Russia are planning joint naval exercises in the Sea of Japan. South Korean President Yoon was in Ukraine today during a surprise trip to open. South Korea will be sending Deming equipment, ambulances, and other support and non-military gear. A tiny town outside Sarasota, Florida has raised $90,000 for Ukrainian refugees, using live music, silent auctions, and dinner events all organized through the local Rotary Club. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.